Guys, welcome back for another video on the View into Hux World. Listen, you all, I got one of the baddest apps you guys got to download. It's going to be free for the taking for your Galaxy Watch 4. And that's even for any other Android Wear device, this is going to work for it, right? This is not a new app, right? But for a lot of you all, you're new to Android Wear, but this is one of those apps that you need to check out. Now, we got more app reviews coming. This one, we, de we decided to do a solo because it's going to take so long to run through some of the features and show you how this works. So with that being said, make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Make sure, matter of fact, hit the like button right now and then smash the notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe subscribe right now because we got more content coming your way and with that being said let's get started with this review. let's get started listen this is an awesome app right called wear gesture so let's go ahead let's take a quick look at it right because it's going to take us a minute if you need to go get your popcorn your milk and cookies your pizza then go ahead pause the video and do so and come right back all right now this is the app that you can set up on the smartphone i need for you to download this off the smartphone i'm going to leave a link in the description but when you download it off the smartphone it's going to download it to the smartphone and the smartwatch at the same time okay so with that being said let's go ahead let's check this out you guys show quick launcher you can set that i'll leave that on you got vibration i want to feel the feedback so i'm gonna leave that on and then you get where you can set it on the watch where it be at the right edge left edge top edge and or the bottom edge also you get bag up and restore and if it's not working for whatever reason you can set the sensitivity uh, however you like because it comes mid but if you need to set it high you can go ahead and set it high okay so with that being said we're done with the settings there's nothing else you have to do here uh, we're going to hit the back button these are all the ones that i have already set up but we're going to do one on here just to show you how it goes okay so for whatever reason it always says sync now it says it didn't sync and now it says it syncs successfully so don't worry about that but let's set one up for you right uh let's get rid of mm, let's get rid of this real quick right we're going to delete it because we're going to do this one over i want to do chrome over okay so in order to start just go ahead tap the plus sign i guess at this sync successfully and this was this is what i like about the app now you can launch things off your watch off the mobile app timer action make phone calls and task all right so wearable app we're gonna do that on the watch is self-explanatory but I want to go into the apps off the phone because I thought this was definitely super amazing so uh, if I want to go into any application that's on my smartphone whether it be third-party apps uh, I go to my bank account uh, we're gonna do Chrome as I said but you can bring a wallpaper you want to do your contacts uh, credit karma you could bring up matter of fact let's do credit karma again I don't know why this delay I don't know if it's the app or if it's me um, we said we were going to do credit karma. Let's do that one. Right. And I want to do T just to do, well, I don't want to do that. You see, it wouldn't let me do the T, right? So let's do and go down. Right. So when you do this gesture, you got to remember what you put on there. Right. So remember that we're going to hit done. And then it's going to save it and then it's going to sync it as well. Okay. Okay. It didn't go through. So let's hit it again. All right. So it's set. This is it right here. It lets you see the gesture. So if you don't remember the gesture, you can always come over to the app uh, and you can find out what it looks like. Right. So I got to go over and down on the phone, on the watch. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm going to cut it on. I got mine at the bottom. There you go. And here, right, what did we do? Over and down. And then it's going to pull it right up. Now that's on the phone. That I thought was awesome. And yes, we did YouTube the same way. So let's do YouTube. And uh, YouTube, I did a while like this. And it's going to open up YouTube on the phone phone i thought this was so awesome yes very nice right so that's how this works if you want to set it up on the actual phone 
uh, you can, me, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with it on the watch because I'm gonna have my watch on my wrist, phone is gonna be in my pocket. So everything that you could do here, you could do here, right? And we're gonna show you. So uh, we're gonna go to the app drawer. I think it's a watch. And then we're gonna find this little rocket. It's gonna be the icon for it right there. Then tap on it and then you can add gestures. You can do all gestures and then you can go ahead and uh, go into settings and this is what it's gonna look like. Same thing of what you've seen here for the most part. It's got a couple of more so far as uh, delay action. We don't wanna do delay action. Uh, you get the style, uh, long press to disable. You don't wanna disable it. Sometimes you may accidentally uh, do it. Um, and this is all your settings. You got right, left, top, bottom. Uh, edge where you can set your gesture press and um, you can restore it just like you can on there and then you can reload gestures if you choose to so everything you need to do is really right here on the watch you really don't need to do it on the phone if you don't want to and uh, everything is all set okay let's take a look at all gestures so it has it here right these are all the ones that I set up just in case I forget okay so let's do Hmm, weather. And we'll do a W. And it'll pull up the weather. All right, and that's on the watch. Again, you know how we can set things up for the mobile device. I mean, you got so many options of what you could do to launch different apps, whether it be on the phone. Up the phone or whether it be on the watch and I thought it was awesome I thought this app was worthy of a review but I'm gonna leave that up to you what do you guys think is this an app that you would download especially considering that the app is free or is this the app that you're gonna leave right where it's at all right you all that's gonna be it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was informative and if it was please make sure you hit the like button on the way out also don't forget smash that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to see you all again at the next video. Enjoy life. Have some fun, you all. And remember to remember, please be safe.